So Genesis, could you please uh, share with us what was the thing you struggled with? I struggled with depression. I had a lot of family issues, just a lot of issues that made me, like in school, I was struggling with school because I was depressed. When I would go to school, I would get away from my family issues and stuff like that. So I fell behind in school. And, yeah. Okay, so you fell behind in school and th that you mentioned that you could not graduate. Is that right? What, what did teachers tell you? Yes, yeah, so... It was about my sophomore year until my junior year, the end of my junior year. And then I came to Hungry Gen my senior year. And once that, I was like, okay, I want to graduate. I feel better. I want to come back. And they're like, yeah, there's no way that that's possible. Like, you can't graduate. There's no way that you're going to even be going to be able to graduate in the summer. Like, you have to come back a whole year, maybe even more. So at this point, I was like, okay, I'll do whatever it takes. But I just kind of let go of the fact that I wasn't going to graduate because they just said there was no way. And so what happened uh, after one service, I know we had a breakthrough service just like this and something miraculous happened. Uh, maybe for some of you it's not a big deal, oh she can't graduate, but honestly it's a big deal to her. And every single little issue to each one of us means something and we are seeking solution from God. And when, you, when your mentor told you, hey you, you, you start praying about it and what happened then? Um, I prayed about it and it's something that, like I said, I gave up on and it wasn't really that I gave up on it. I just kind of gave up that it was something that was possible. So I never really prayed about it and then my mentor said, let's pray about it today. You know, just pray about it. You never know. So literally the next day on Monday, my counselor calls me in and she's like, okay, I've been looking over all your credits and you're going to graduate on time. And I was kind of like, okay, I'm just going to let it go for a week. I'm not going to say anything because she said there was no way. And so then I went again and I was like, okay, I want you to talk to my family because you told us, we just had a meeting with you, you said no way. And she was like, no, I know, but you're going to graduate on time. So I was like, okay. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So what do you think happened? Prayer. Prayer, guys, that's what happened. Yes, um, and actually after that, so I had a substitute teacher and he ended up being a pastor, which I didn't know. And at, when he came to me and told me this week, after breakthrough service he actually said you're going to receive a breakthrough you don't know me I'm a pastor but you're going to receive a breakthrough at this point I'm like okay are you watching me do you know that I go to hungry gen we do breakthrough service and he's like no God wants to bless you and he said God wants to call you to do work for him but he needs you to get on his feet and he told me that his his church he took my story his church was praying for me and he said that his church wants to buy me a car they want to send me to school to school and they want to help me get on my feet to do God's work so Wow, now that's a breakthrough. That's amazing. Wow, Genesis. Uh, we're so happy for you and for this breakthrough that God brought into your life. Would you share a word of advice to people who might be looking for a breakthrough? What would you tell them? Prayer. I think my, when I would pray, I didn't have as much confidence. I would kind of just be like, oh God, I hope you're going to do this. But I think once something shifted, once I was like, no God, I know you're going to do this. I know that it's going to happen. I know I'm going to receive my breakthrough. So just confidence in your prayer and it's something's going to shift once you believe in it. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching this content. I hope this was a blessing to you. If you're like me and you like to click on things, click on this, subscribe to our channel, and the content will come to you every time we post it. And remember, the best is yet to come.